people, these Christian pastors out here teaching us that we Hamites. Those are, that's their biblical name, Hamites, all right? You are not a Hamite, you are uh, a Shemite. And we're going to show you in the Bible, you have not heard this Bible in its, uh, in its proper context all your life. That's and that's what we out here doing to show our people this true history. This is not a religious book, this is a history book, and we're going to let the Bible talk. Read what you got. This is the book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 25. Bring it on! Who changed the truth of God into a lie? So the Bible, this is Paul saying, who changed the truth of God into a lie? You look at this sign right here. You see the 12 tribes of Israel. Who changed these people into a lie? Who changed the, the true image of Christ into a lie? Because if you look over here, you see you got a white image. You got Caesar Borgir, who they say is Christ. Then you got the image that the Bible depicts is Christ. You understand? So going back to your question, it said, read that one more time before we go back to Joel. Read. Romans chapter 1, verse 25. Hey, y'all need to listen up, black man. You're an Israelite according to the Bible. The reason why y'all died in these streets is because you're breaking God's laws, man. Read it again. That's right. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? Let's go to Joel 3. It said, who changed the truth of God into a lie? Read what you got again. Joel 3 and 3. Read. This is the book of Joel, chapter 3, verse 3. And they have cast lots for my people uh -huh. and have given a boy for an harlot. He said, these people, these it's two nations that he's talking about. He said, they cast, first of all, they cast lots for his people and they gave a boy for a harlot. A harlot is a whore. They used to whore our little boys out. Have you ever heard in slavery they had sex farms where they used to sleep with little boys? You understand? Read on. And have given a boy for a harlot. And sold a girl for wine. He said they sold a girl for wine because what we do with wine, we pass it around. So they was passing our little girls around like wine. That's read? Right. That they might drink. Uh -huh. Yeah. And what have ye to do with me, O Tyree and Zidane? He said, what you got to do with me, O Tyree? I want you to listen to, come here, sis. Because the brother asked a question. They say that Africans sold Africans. We showing you in the Bible who sold us. We not Africans, we not Hamites, we are Shemites, you understand? So I want you to pay attention, they said, these two nations, they sold a boy for a harlot, which is, in these terms, will be called a whore, they was hoeing our boys out. He said, they gave our girls for wine. They used to pass our girls from here to this man, to that man, to that man. So read it again, verse four. Yeah, and what have ye to do with me? Oh, Tyree and Zidon. So Tyree and Zidon, when you go precept upon precept, that is a Hamite nation. That's an African nation. So these pictures, these pictures is real. Y'all come look at this. This is real. This is a real actual picture. So you got actual, Ham, you got actual Hamites. Those are the Tyree and Zidon. Read what you got. And all the coast of Palestine. And all the coast of Palestine, which is the Ishmaelites, the so-called Arabians. Just like today, over in Libya, they selling our people today. Today, you can look on the internet and you can see the so-called Arabians over in Libya, they selling our people. That's Read it again. Right. And all the coast of Palestine, okay. will ye render me a recompense? Uh -huh. And if ye recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? So this is what the Bible says. Will the so-called real Africans and the Arabians, will you render me a recompense? Will you pay me back? For what you did, and he gonna explain. He said, and if you pay me back, I'm gonna put it back on your head. I'm gonna take whatever you gotta give, and I'm gonna put it back on your head. Read, keep reading, verse five. Because you have taken my silver and my gold. He said, because you taken my silver and my gold, read, and have carried away into your temples my goodly pleasant things. He said, and, they, they, and when they stripped us, when they took us into captivity, they took all our resources. They took all, they went in our temple and took everything from us, read. The children also of Judah. He said, also, without taking, besides taking everything, you took the children of Judah. Let me step right here, bro. You took the children of Judah. If you look on this sign right here, the Judah is the so-called African-American. The Tyree, old Tyree, this African nation right here, they took the children of Judah off the west coast of Africa, and we're going to show you how they got over there to the west coast of Africa. This is your history book that's in the Bible. This is your history book that's that these right. pastors is not teaching you. That's read it, read. 
the children also of Judah uh -huh. and the children of Jerusalem and the children of Jerusalem and the children of Israel because the so-called Hispanics the so-called Native Americans that's your people that's if you look right here this is our people the same thing that happened to the so-called blacks and Hispanics happened to the Native Americans that's why it's a damn embarrassment that our people hey my bro it's an embarrassment that our people went out and celebrated 4th of July yesterday did you celebrate 4th of July yesterday did you celebrate 4th of July? But a lot of our people, they went out and what was they doing? They were celebrating the 4th of July. When you got, you had over a million, a million Native Americans slaughtered. 70 some million Native Americans slaughtered on this land. Their blood is on this land. And our black people, we came over here on slavery. They whipped, we helped build this Chicago, the city of Chicago up. Everything, I just, I'm from out of town, I'm from Kansas City. Everything I've been downtown this whole time. Oh, you know who's down there enjoying the wealth that you built up? The other nations. The so-called white man, the so-called Arabian man, the so-called Chinese man. He's down there enjoying all the fruits of your labor. Why is he doing that? Because we sinned against the most high God. Because you don't know that you a child of God, bro. You don't know that you a king on this earth. You think you just some a black boy with that instilled in your mind. But you a God on this earth. Does a God on this earth smoke cigarettes, bro? Hell no. When you give me uh give me God uh, first Corinthians 3 and 16. I'm going to show you, bro. This is what you got to understand, sis, too. The laws of God was given to us. You want to wonder why these, these young black boys is running around knocking each other off? And these gangs and these streets, you wonder why they knocking each other off? Because the most high God putting the spirit on them to get rid of them. Because you sin it. That's the God we serve. We don't serve no, no uh, image of white God that's going to come out the sky holding hands with you. That's not the God of this Bible. The God of this Bible is war. Read what you got. This is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 3, verse 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? It's for you. He said, don't, and you, sis. Don't you know that you're the temple of God? Don't you know that, Rick? And that the spirit of God dwelleth in you. And you got a spirit in you that's not in no other nations. It's 18 nations on this earth. There's a special spirit inside of you that nobody else got. The, the Bible says we are the salt of the earth. Without us, it, this would be a boring world. It would be a plain world. But the Bible calls us the salt of the earth for a reason because he said the spirit of God is dwelling in us. You understand that? Give me Deuteronomy 28, 15, bro. This is why, hold on, hold on, finish that out. My bad, finish that out, Rick. If any, the, the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you, if any man defile the temple of God. He said, if any man defile your temple the, of God, because, sister, you defile the temple of God. We're going to show you. Read. Him shall God destroy. He said, him God's going to destroy. So how do how you think he's going to destroy you? How do you think he's going to destroy you smoking a cigarette? You got this little thing called throat cancer. You got this little thing called can uh, lung cancer. You 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 seen the commercials when they talking like this on the on the, uh, the commercial. You seen those commercials, but you still even on the on your cigarette. Where your cigarette package at? You ain't got a pack the package. Pull it out. Pull your cigarette package out and read the side. Read the read the side of that cigarette on the back of it. What it say? It say it got cancer in it. Carbon monoxide. You know where carbon monoxide come from? It's a silent killer. If you go, if you got a car right now, you sit in your garage and let it run. It's going to kill you, bro. It's going to kill you. That's the same thing. Hey, my bro, you are Israelite according to the Bible. That's the same thing that you just in inhaling in your body right now, bro. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Read what you got. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. And I'm going to show you how doing these things like that is why you in Chicago right now. It's why you not running this earth right now. Why you walking right now? While we out here teaching right now. Read. But it shall come to pass. Read. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. He said it's going to come to pass if we don't listen. If we don't hearken to the voice of the Lord our God. Right. Because he's not a God of everybody. Right. He's only a God of the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's and he right. called you Israelites. Right. Read. To observe. To do all his commandments and his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day. He said, if you don't listen to all my statutes and my commandments that I, I'm, I'm telling to you this day, because hold that, give me Deuteronomy 22 and uh, verse 5. 
because we got to show the sister. This is love according to the Bible. That's if right. I love you, I'm going to correct you. Right. Because I don't want to see you get hurt out here. That's right. I don't want to see you die here with the same men that put you in slavery. That's the right. same men who got horny on July 4th, 1776, and looked at your grandmama and said, look, I want her. I don't want you to die with that man because this punishment coming for what he did to your grandma. Right. This punishment coming what he did to your forefather. That's but if you don't get your mind right, you're going to get the same punishment as him. That's Read what you got. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. I want you to listen, bro, because you're an Israelite. This is the best information you're going to hear all year long, bro. That's right. This, you're an Israelite. You need to come over here and listen, bro. Read. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. This is the laws. Remember he said, if you don't listen to the voice of the Lord thy God, the woman should not that wear which pertaineth unto a man. What does a woman wear which pertaineth to a man? Like you're supposed to keep your hair wrapped up, it's called like um a wrap, okay. Yeah. Okay. But what does but what does a woman wear which pertaineth unto a man? What does a woman what article of clothing should a woman put on that a man that's given specifically to the man? Pants. 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 No, pants. Exactly. Exactly. So you don't want to wear so you don't want to be wearing tight shorts right now. Think about your great grandma. Have you ever seen your great grandma in, a, in some pants? You haven't. My great grandma hated pants. Okay, sis. So you know this. So you know this information. Read. Hold on. Okay. Read. Can you read? Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Said, Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So when you turn on BET, when you turn on the TV, what they driving down our throat? So, uh, sodomites. They driving homosexuality down our throat. They put men, grown men entertainers in dresses. And the Bible says a woman is not supposed to be wearing what pertain to a man. You're not supposed to be out here in tight pants, tight uh, shorts. You're supposed to have a long, modest, uh, uh, um, adorned in a long, modest apparel. Right. The word adorned means beautiful. That's right. That's your, that's your wisdom and understanding in the sight of these nations. That's our right. wives, we down here visiting. I'm, we, we brought our wives down here just to visit Chicago, visit our brothers. You know how many people, how many people of the other nations stopped our wives and said, that's a beautiful dress you got on. You look built. That's beauty. That's right. That's beauty. You had even our own people that was underdressed, looking embarrassed, just to stand next to our wives. That's right. You understand? But this is what we're trying to show you, sis. What you gonna say? What you gotta say? I don't wanna cut you off. Everybody go through their like trials and tribulations and things like that. Uh huh. You know that's why they say you can't do it now. Passion, passion. That's why I can't do it. Because I know that this is unappropriate. Okay. And I know the life that I have here. Okay, I'm going to show you this. Watch this, sis. Watch this. Give me Psalms 119. And then we're going to go back. Give me Psalms 119 because I, want I don't want, to, want you to miss the point. Psalms 119, verse 59. Read that. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 59. I thought on my ways and turned my feet unto thy testimony. This is with King David. King David was our king. Yes. King Hezekiah was our king. Yes. He said, I, I thought on my ways. I thought what I was doing, and I turned my way unto the laws and the commandments. Yes. That's what you got to do, bro. That's yes. what you got to do. Think about your ways. Think yes. about smoking that cigarette. What's going to come out of that cigarette? Think about your ways and turn your turn your ways back. Hey, my bro. Bro. Big bro right here. Big bro right here. Come here. Come here, bro. You Israelite. Come here, big bro. You Israelite according to the Bible. What's your yes. name, bro? My bad, bro. Hey, what's your name? Right here. With the uh, skeleton shirt on. What's your name? Hey, name. What's your name, bro? Sis. Katisha. Check this out. Verse 60. I made haste. I did what? I made haste. When you make haste, what you do? You hurrying up. What? I made haste, read. And delayed not to keep thy commandments. So he said, I made haste and I delayed not to keep thy commandments. So it's a commandment for you not to smoke a cigarette. So how do you delay and make haste to keep his commandments? You throw that cigarette down, you step on it and grind it to the to the floor, bro. That's right. You got to understand, bro. Listen, bro. Understand how, how important this is. The Bible says when a word is sown, the devil will come immediately and try to take you from the word of God, bro. I'm going to show you how spiritual this Bible is. The Bible said, Christ said, when the, these be sown, when the word is sown in their heart, the devil will come immediately and try to take you away from the word of God. So I'm going to see how mentally strong you are because you understand this Bible. Read. Go back to Deuteronomy 28, 15 again. Read that again. Deuteronomy chapter 28, 
chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So if we continue smoking, if we continue wearing pants, right. he said all these curses are going to overcome you and they're going to overtake you. Read verse 16. Verse 16. Read. Curse shall thou be in the city. One of the curses is you're going to be cursed in every city. Every city you go, go to, no matter if it's Kansas City, Chicago, L.A., New Orleans, no matter what city you go to, you're going to see the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans in the ghettos. Am I lying or not? Am I lying or not? Every city you go to, it don't matter where you go in the slums throughout the world, you can go to Jamaica, you can go to Haiti, who you going to find in the slums and in the ghettos? The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Because why? He said, if you don't listen to my commandments, all these curses is going to overcome you and overtake you. Read verse 16 one more time. Curse shall thou be in the city, and curse shall thou be in the field. He said, and curse you going to be in the field. Who was in these cotton fields picking cotton? Who was in the, who was in the sugar cane fields picking sugar cane? The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Who they have in the gold mine? How do you think they built up all these individual cities all over the world? Off the backs of your forefathers. Because you was going to be cursed in the city and you was going to be cursed in the field. Give me verse 26. I'm, sh I'm showing you, bro, that this Bible is your history book. This is not no religion, the religious book to play around with. Everything that Christ, God told the blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans was going to happen to them, it happened to them. Yes, he told me, you break my laws, I'm going to put you in slavery. Right. If you break my laws, you're going to be cursed in the city and you're going to be cursed in the field. See, the treatment of God. We are not black men, we are Israelites. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.